Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town and today I'm starting a new series in which I take a book that I love that has been turned into a movie and I'm going back into the text of the book and seeing how the characters were originally described because in movie adaptations obviously a lot of changes have to be made. Um, I'm going to try to make them as close to the text description um, as I can and today we are going to be doing Harry Potter. You may be like, that's not Harry Potter, but it is. This is just the Japanese copy. So long story short, that's what this new series is about. I'm calling it by the book because it's going to decide how these character designs turn out. So let's go. Okay, so I want to get started with Harry Potter's book description first. Now there's a few details about him that are repeatedly described over and over. Um, those being his jet black untidy hair that he inherited from his father, his mother's green eyes, they're also described as almond shaped um, in a couple different places, and obviously the lightning bolt scar from when Voldemort first attacked him. In the start of his life, he's described as skinny and small for his age, obviously because he hasn't been treated very well by the Dursleys. He's had a really poor quality of life in childhood. Um, he's described with a thin face and knobbly knees. Again, these both kind of indicate that he is underweight and that kind of thing. Um, later in the books, he's described as almost the height of his father and tall by other characters in the book and um, he, he basically starts growing normally again once he gets a better quality of life. Um, but I think I'm going to be basing most of the characters on their earlier descriptions just because I have to pick um, and also there's going to be some characters who uh, obviously if they like die later <laughs> it's best to start early. Um, so I'm going to have all the characters be based sort of roughly around between the second book and the fourth book, I don't think I'll go any farther than that. Obviously, he also has the round glasses, and yeah, um, apparently J.K. Rowling was quoted as saying when he first she first pictured Harry Potter, she saw him as a scrawny, black-haired, bespectacled boy. So these are the main things that we're focusing on. So the first outfit I'm drawing him in is actually how he's originally described, and that is in. Dudley's nasty old hand-me-downs that don't fit. Um, I thought this would really feature how small and scrawny he is. It's kind of hard to show how small a character is when they're not compared with other characters. Um, so I thought that having him in Dudley's old clothes like he was often in before his life at Hogwarts would be a good way to do that. And you may notice that his robes are actually pure black. They don't have the red stripe. Well, that's because in the book there is no red stripe. There's no description of the cloaks being house specific. I also gave him the little pointed hat that's described in the book even though I know they don't wear that that often. I just think it's kind of a cute detail and they really didn't show it very often in the movies so I thought I'd add it in. So you can see the two versions that I have drawn um, in their final form and I have a little checklist here of things that I wanted to hit. The only one I think I kind of failed at was the thin face. It's really tough for me um, to draw thin faced characters. I really tried my best but um, I'm not giving myself full points because of that. Now let's look at how he was shown in the movie and see what differences there are. Here is Harry in a few different stages of his life. Um, this first one is from the first movie and this one over here is from a little bit later when he's more of a teen. His face is not super narrow I would say. Um, he's actually got kind of a soft face especially with his hair like this. His whole head seems very like round. Famously his eyes are not green. They are actually blue and I think they greened him up a little bit in this promotional picture but if when you're watching the movie his eyes are completely blue. He also has round eyes rather than almond shape and one of the main things that bothered me about um, how they styled Harry. The, the hair, I don't think, uh, first of all, it's brown. Like, this is, this is brown. Um, second of all, uh, none of these give off that like crazy untidy appearance that's so often described. The Dursleys would like cut all of his hair off and like by the next day it would have like poof, grown back like all puffy and crazy again. Also Daniel Radcliffe has a pretty thick neck which makes him look more um, healthy and less like scrawny and dying than he was described. I do think that the eyebrows are good though. I feel like Harry, if he has crazy jet black bushy hair he probably has pretty dark eyebrows as well. I'm Hermione Granger, and you are? 
Okay, so now we're on to Hermione, and I'll start again with how she's described in the book. So she's described as having lots of bushy brown hair, brown eyes, a bossy sort of voice, and as a child, rather large front teeth. Um, she's never described as being particularly interested in her appearance except for two occasions, the Yule Ball and the wedding of Fleur and Bill Weasley. So um, I will be actually doing two versions of her, just like Harry. Uh, one version, which is her traditional self, um, basically her as she would just go to school on a regular day and um, in first year I'm aiming for. And then the second one is her Yule Ball appearance because actually I was a little bothered by the their Yule Ball version of Hermione. I feel like she was not how she was described in the book really at all, and I think they went a little too overboard. Um, generally, I think that the movie version of Hermione uh, is a little bit too glamorous, and I'll talk obviously about that more later when we're looking at the actress pictures, but here I'm really trying to focus on the key things that we hear about Hermione over and over again in the text. So. As far as canon things that we know about her appearance, um, her hair is long, it's brown, it's bushy, and she wears it like a mane. It's described as a mane more than once, I believe. So um, that means we're looking for some uh, horizontal volume. We don't know too much about her clothing other than that she typically likes to wear her school uniform underneath her robes and that makes a lot of sense for her character obviously but we don't hear a lot about what the uniform under the robes looked like so I'm trying to just go with a British private school kind of look. I'm giving her some knee-high um, argyle socks and uh, saddleback shoes and a plaid skirt because that's as close as I could think to what a British school uniform would look like um, and I'm also giving her the pointed black hat the black robes with no embellishment to show that she's in Gryffindor because again that was sort of created by the movie and uh, she's holding Hogwarts a history because it's one of the first books that she ends up talking about. Um, in the next door version of her, I tried to make her a little bit taller, look a little bit older, because obviously the Yule Ball happens a couple years after her initial uh, year at Hogwarts. Um, and her dress in the Yule Ball segment is described as a periwinkle floaty dress. That's all we get um, in regards to what it looks like. Her hair has also been turned all silky because she has used a hair potion on it. So here's the final version of Hermione. I'm really sorry you guys didn't get to see the coloring part. I'm legitimately so disappointed. OBS crashed silently, so I just kept working on it and I didn't realize it wasn't recording, so the whole coloring part just like never got recorded. So yeah, I'm really sorry about that. But um, here's the breakdown of the points um, I was trying to hit and me just sort of grading myself based on this. So I gave her brown eyes, of course. I gave her the bushy hair. I feel like I did a pretty good job of that. Um, I tried to show her large front teeth. I didn't give my full, myself full points for the school uniform because I didn't know what it actually looked like, but I gave her robes, and I tried to make sure that she looks like someone who doesn't spend a lot of time on her hair or makeup except in the Yule Ball version. I even gave her some little moles on her face or something just so that you can see that she's not wearing foundation or anything like that. I feel like that would be a nice detail. Okay, so I give myself five out of the six points of what I thought was the most important about her appearance. Let's see how the movie adaptations uh, stand up. Hermione's hair is a hugely important part of her design. We talked about that earlier. Um, bushy brown hair, a huge mane of it. This is not a good example of that in any of these pictures. I don't think they did a very good job even with the first year. It looks like a girl who has naturally straight hair and they took a comb and they back combed it. Um, to make it look crazy, especially because her bangs are laying perfectly silky and smooth and straight. She doesn't appear to have makeup on though here, which is good. Later on, she definitely does. This is clearly a full face of natural makeup. Her hair, I would say, is like, it's clearly took some time to do. Like, these are like very intentional, like curls. It looks like a curling iron. I think they just really wanted to have a cute, um, sort of glamorous nerd girl rather than what it might actually look like, which bothers me. I think they get three points, right? Uh, brown eyes, school uniform, robes. Yep. Ronald Weasley! So let's talk about how Ron was described in the book. 
So Ron has fiery red hair and freckles like all the Weasleys do, or almost all of them. I'm actually not sure if there's an example of a Weasley who doesn't have those features. He also has a long nose and blue eyes, and he's described as tall and lanky with big hands and feet. So these are going to be the six things that we focus on. Fiery red hair, freckles, tall and lanky, big hands and feet, long nose, and blue eyes. Um, all other details I'll just talk about as I go through it. So character design aside, there are a lot of things about Ron that I was really bothered by in the movie versus the book, and mainly that comes down to his personality. Now in the book he's kind of a wisecracking kind of character, and he's more socially aware than both Harry and Hermione. Harry uh, doesn't really know much about the wizarding world because obviously he's very new to it, and the same can be said for Hermione. Um, Generally, Hermione is book smart, and then Ron is more like street smart as far as the, the streets of Hogwarts go because he was raised with wizard stuff. And um, I was always sad in the movies that he's basically just a huge idiot. Um, like, he's he just never knows anything that's going on. It's just generally, they took all the positive elements of Ron and gave them to Hermione, and then it became a really strange couple um, because they really did take everything that was like cool about him and gave it away to other characters. So I think that Ron generally wore more casual clothes and didn't like to wear his uniform as much. That was sort of the impression I got. He hates homework, so I imagine him not being super careful with the dress code and that kind of thing. I'm also going ham on his red hair, and I'm trying to make it a little bit neater than Hermione's and Harry's because they're both in the messy hair club, and even though I don't think he'd take super good care of it, just to give a little contrast in the trio, um, I'm trying to get it a little bit less intense of on the messiness scale. Also, you may have noticed already, but the alternate version of Ron that I'm doing is him in his dress robes from the Yule Ball. So here is the checklist next to my version of Ron. I feel like I got a 5.5 out of 6 um, just because I don't think that I fully committed to the big hands and feet thing. I kind of forgot about it when I was drawing his feet, so I'm only giving myself half credit for that one. Okay, so let's take a look at what Ron looked like in the movie and talk about the differences from the book. So right off the bat, um, especially in the first movie, they did a very good job with his red hair. I mean, it's a little bit more orangey, but I, I can respect them for wanting it to look a little more natural. Ron does not have freckles, however, um, at least none that I could see. And his eyes are actually reportedly green, though I didn't notice that detail when I was actually watching the film. He is not long and lanky, he's actually kind of shorter and stockier than even Harry, who also was shorter and stockier than he probably should have been, according to the book. His hands and feet seem normal for his size, so it doesn't match necessarily. And last but not least, he doesn't seem to have a particularly long nose, especially when he was a little kid, he has a real, like, cute baby button nose. Okay, so I think they only get one point, um, based on the scale that I decided earlier. So here are the main three, finished and together. How do you guys think I did? And how did you picture them in your head? Regardless of how the movie or the book described them. I know when I first read Harry Potter, when I was like a tiny, tiny kid, for some reason I pictured Hagrid super skinny, even though they specifically said he wasn't. Okay guys, that does it for this episode of by the book. Um, I hope you enjoyed it a lot. There is going to be a part two because I could not get all the characters I wanted to and one of them might be a fellow Ravenclaw who can see Thestrals and maybe owns a pair of Spectra Specs. Also please let me know if you have a book series that was turned into a TV show or a, a movie or anything like that if you'd want me to do a by the books episode about that. Bye! Thank you to all of my patrons, including Scott Peterson, Christy Stewart, Painamel, The Artsy Moose, Elizabeth Alvin, Count Pomhon, Trasho Maniac, Mycodactyl, Okamore, Matthew Kunke, Blep, Sergeant Pendulum, Shiori, Lena Christine, DeSweet12, He Was, Taka, Lovely, Lachlan MD, Mystic, Enzo Jobort, Yo Boy ST, JJ Jade, Blah 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 Blah, and Addy Visual.